Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy Nitsi coming back with another Bullseye with tutorial here today on the channel. I wanted to talk about one of the most famous household names in music, the Neve 1073. It doesn't matter what type of material you put in front of it, a bass, a kick, a vocal, whether it's a high voice, a deep voice, a mid-range voice, the Neve 1073 flat out works. And that's why it's just a timeless unit and everybody talks about it. So I wanted to show a free alternative to the Neve uh, 1073 just in case if you don't have the UAD or the waves so if you guys do have any different comments or questions down below go ahead and drop it I'm more than happy to get to it so let's not waste no time the very first thing that I wanted to do right away um, is I actually wanted us to get uh, get to listening to a little bit of music so this is a song that I actually have here uh, from the live streams and you know if you guys do want to check out my live streams go ahead you know go on my channel click live and you can see some of my live streams and uh, see how we be rapping live but i ended up using something like a uh, neve 1073 on this vocal at the end of the day so let's, let's listen to how something like this is so important to getting uh, you know a modern but very clear you know very upbeat and strong and present sound let's go Wherever I go, I already know to stay on my tan and stay on my toes. Wherever I go, I already know to stay on my tan and stay on my toes. Who is he testing? I know that he bitches is bad, but damn, they better than ever. Who is he testing? A whole lot of people around me just jigging and jigging for nothing. Wherever I go, I already know to stay on my tan and stay on my toes. Wherever I go, I already know to stay on my tan and stay on my toes. Who is he testing? I know that he bitches is bad, but damn, they better than ever. Who is he testing? A whole lot of people around me just jigging and jigging. I heard that money bring whole lot of problems, so I hit the mark out a whole lot of pride. Lately, I really been facing the bottle. The only thing that'll help me with my problems. Shotty got to send these cheese with the bikini bottom. Pull me to the money right now, I follow. I was down bad in the streets, had to borrow. These bitches build like some models, but crazy thing about it, they don't even got a real model. Mama told me I'm on the highway to hell in this life, so fuck it, I done hit that throttle. Hey, yeah, I done caught a whole quarter, I done put it back in. Yes, so pretty much that's the song that we have here. Now, let's look at the Neve 1073 a little bit, uh, mostly. Usually when it comes to a process where I'm bringing in the channel strip, I usually like to do, um, you know, some people like to use a channel strip in the beginning, but me personally, I like to use some of the utility things in the very beginning of my vocals. So let's, for example, let's look at this. You know, I use the stock EQ, a stock de This is my personal chain. I use the multiband as well. And the main thing, the reason why I do that, it's kind of like when you're... Uh, you know, a situation where you're like, you're dressing yourself up in the morning. You know, you don't usually put on your watch and your chain as the first thing. You usually put on the utility stuff like the socks, the shirt, the pants, you know, all the utility stuff. Then you put on the flash. So that's kind of how I see something like making music. You know, I also like to use the Mac DSP AC202. So by the time I do even get to something like uh, my channel strip, you know, it's all about the color. It's all about the flavor. I actually get the opportunity to maybe do a little bit of boosting EQ. I don't usually do that, but maybe I, let's say I I also have like a plugin that's going to get give me some saturation, some color, some tone. I usually like to use the analog component at the very end. And the reason why, another reason why as well, not just because of the process, but just because when you bring in the analog component at the end and you use like a little bit of those you know, colorless plugins, as I like to call them, then it's actually going to start to let the analog plugin really get more influence over the song. You know what I mean? If you use a bunch of analog plugins inside of, you know, your, your whole chain, there's nothing wrong with that i'm not telling you that you shouldn't do that i'm just saying that it's gonna start to like all the flavors are gonna cancel each other out like if you had like a, a food or like a piece of chicken and you started mixing all types of different seasonings too much it's literally gonna cancel it out or if you had like a fruit juice right a fruit blend juice you know maybe you want it to mainly taste like grape but then you put an equal amount of grapes strawberries uh melon pineapple all that stuff well the, the taste is gonna completely cancel out it's not gonna taste like that one specific thing so that's something that you should also think about so you know, when it comes to the, something like the uh, history of the Neve 1073, you know, you know, Rupert Neve, he was commissioned by I think it's like the Wessex uh, company and uh, England pretty much. Right. And they needed it. They needed a, um, a console pretty much. So, you know, Rupert Neve was commissioned to do that. And it was one of his most infamous uh, famous inventions that he even called it like the baby that he can't get rid of, which is the Neve 1073. So the Neve 1073, the reason why it's so timeless is just because of it works. You know, it's starting off with something like the, the preamp, you know, the preamp section specifically. It has the transistors and you know it's a combination of both the transistors and the transformers 
together to do the amplification process. So, I mean, I imagine using something like this, like a Neat 1073 console like this, man, if you put your drums through something like this, your drums better bang because that Neat 1073 is just known so well for giving that weight, that presence, that body. And also, you know, coming back to something like the, the you know, this one specifically with the 1073, you also have these EQs right here, which the EQ is so tonally balanced. It's so perfect. You have the filter, of course, you know, usually the filter was used to get rid of a little bit of that, that that room rumble that resonance you know you know all that stuff like that they were always trying to beat the noise floor and usually noise is uh kind of like uh something that is usually the rumble is usually in that lower register so they usually always had to filter you know the neve 1073 isn't like the 1081 or the 1084 I, specifically the 1084 i believe the 1084 has the um the low pass filter you know so when it came to time like with the tape they was always just trying to preserve the brightness you know preserve the the, f the fidelity and everything like that so that's why you know, on the very original 1073, you don't see that that low pass filter on it. You know what I mean? But it's still great. You have the uh, you know, the um high pass, then you have this one right here, which is uh gonna be a low shelf. This one right here is the bell, and this one right here is the high shelf, and this is the preamp. So it's just something that's so tonally balanced and it can cover a lot of ground when it comes to making music. So, you know, I, I really like something like the analog obsession right here. And let's look at how I was able to really just dial something in. Like, how do I approach using a Neve 1070? to get that vocal juice that vocal sauce so the very first thing that i did was i pushed the uh you know the preamp right here and this one is really just for the saturation the tone the grit so let's listen to what it sounds like in general with and without no matter what stay silent so who is you testing i know that these bitches is bad but damn they better than ever better who is you testing them. a whole lot of people around me just jigging and jigging for I heard that money bring whole lot of problems So I hear the mock out a whole lot of pride Lately I really been facing the bottle The only thing that'll help me with my problems Shotty got to send these cheeks with the bikini bottom Pull me to the money right now I follow I was down bad in the streets had to borrow These bitches built like some models But crazy thing about it they don't even got a role model Mama told me I'm on the highway to hell in this life So fuck it I done hear that throttle Hey, yeah I done caught a whole quarter I done put it back Lord I got to stay in my tent I ain't never found no bottom Zoles on the board I done seen a lot of flutter Been in my path and I ain't never pulling over toes wherever i go i already know to stay on my tan and stay on so the most important thing that i really like about something like uh, the preamp of a neve is the transistors the transistors kind of add like this clarity this grit that is really good for rap music you know another great type of thing that this reminds me of is something like a neumann 87 like the neumann 87 the way it kind of just sounds like it just has like this clarity to it and uh the neve 1073 it kind of reminds me of that i feel like a can't miss vocal chain it's something like a neve 1073 73 and a no annoyman annoyman 87 u87 you know that's like a can't miss vocal chain honestly the vocals are gonna sound clear very present even though it's a very expensive chain you know what i mean it will still it will still kind of give you that that certain sound that certain tone and make it easier for you in the daw as well so what we have with the Neve 1073 is I like to use like a series, especially I like to shape my low end. So I have like a, a high pass filter right here at 50, but then I'm boosting with the shelf at 60. So it kind of really has like this tonal type of balance thing to it. And I'm not doing too much, maybe like one dB. So it's kind of like uh, a situation where I'm really just molding the low end in my vocal. I don't want my vocals to sound too skinny, too frail. I want them to sound like they have body. And that's what the Neve is very well known for. And then when it comes to something as well, like, uh, you know, um, the high shelf as well it really is really good it kind of adds a little bit of air you know all of the eqs are different the mod eq when you boost it on the top it has a certain way that it, it, it you know it boosts as well but the neve 1073 has like a gritty eh, a little a little bite to it that i really liked a lot for this specific vocal so in general i feel like the uh analog obsession is really 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 a really good um type of a free plugin that you guys can get you know so if you don't have something like the uad version or the waves version you know then you could try this one out so i just want to go back and forth between both the um you know the analog obsession and the waves version so let's look into that so who is you testing i know that these bitches is bad but damn they better than ever who is you testing a whole lot of people around me just jigging and jigging from i heard that money bring whole lot of problems so i hear the mock out a whole lot of pride lately i really been facing the bottle the only thing that that helped me with my problems so got to send these cheeks with the bikini bottom pull me to the money right now i follow i was down bad in the streets had to borrow these bitches built like some models but crazy thing about it they don't even got a role model mama told me i'm on the highway where the hell in this life so fuck it i done hear that throttle hey 
Yeah, I done caught a whole quarter, I done put it back, Lord, got stay in my tent, I ain't never fallin' over, I done zoes on the board, I done seen a lot of flutter, been in my path and I ain't never pullin' over, toes, wherever I go, I already know to stay on my tent and stay on my toes, wherever I go, I already know to stay on my tent and stay on my toes, who is you testin', I know that these bitches is bad, but damn, they better than ever, who is you testin', a whole lot of people around me just jiggin' and jiggin' for nothing. wherever I go, I already know to stay on my tent and stay on my toes, wherever I go, I already know to stay on my tent and stay on my toes, who is you testin', I know that these bitches is bad, but damn, they better than The most important thing, I feel like they actually do sound slightly, slightly different in the characteristic of that the Shep 73 is a little bit more warmer, it's a little bit more smoother on the high end, even though I'm kind of like boosting the same amount, 1.2, and I think right here, I'm, yeah, literally the same amount, but the high end actually kind of sounds a little bit different, so, you know, if I was going for something like a more warmer type of relaxing vocal, not not too modern, not too mainstream, I would go with the Shep 73, but for this song specifically, you know, me understanding my tools, even though I have both of the channel strips, I went with the analog um, version, the analog obsession version, so that's something that you guys always got to be aware of you know you might have the same plugin over and over and over you know you might have like uh three or four of the uh neve 1073s but you always got to listen and pick like which one is going to fit the song a little bit better which one is going to complement the vocal better so that's like a deeper idea i wanted to talk about today even though you have the same tape like you have might have like three or four emulations of a studer tape or the la2a you know it's not bad to have multiple ones of them because they're all different variations of the same thing that can really just help you you know custom tailor something to a song that's what i feel like people got to understand you know every single song is different it's a different situation it's like you're a quarterback just because you through a three yard slant the last play that doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to work every single play because the defense is going to be different the situation is going to be different it might be for fourth quarter it might be first quarter it might be you know third quarter it might be third and 10 or first and 15 so the situation is always different you know what i mean when it comes to making music so it's not bad to maybe have a couple of, of different variations of the same plugin so yeah, that's pretty much the video that I have here for today. Just wanted to go a little bit over how, you know, if you don't have the Neve 1073, maybe it's something that you should try out. You know, you heard how it gave a lot of presence, a lot of grittiness to the vocal. And, you know, that really, like, like I just want to go over that one more time. It's really coming from this band right here specifically, like the, um, the mid-range band which is a bell and you know really it just it just has a very musical way of just really making the vocals have that nice little snap so the rapper could still be chill and relaxed but just the eq is just making is bringing in all this new energy this new grit and this new life so i just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my youtube family don't forget to like comment and subscribe peace